There we go. All right. I just pulled my cheeses out. This is my evaporative cooler cheese cave here. I keep my kefir in. I just emptied my kefir and cleaned the kefir drains. Emptied the kefir into the kefir strainer so the whey can leach out of it and it can get even thicker, turn it into kefir cream cheese. I have this large cheese from last year. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Bloomy, bloomy rind, white bloomy rind cheese. This is gonna be, it's gonna taste a lot like a, like a hard brie cheese. Is it blue cheese? Hard blue cheese. That blue cheese did not did not penetrate that. That's not gonna taste like blue cheese once I cut the rind off. Because blue cheese doesn't really penetrate its flavors as well as a, a bloomy white rind. Beautiful. These hard these are all hard cheeses. That's why they've been able to age for the last year in my wagon. This one, Let's flip each of these. Each of these is gonna taste like Parmesan, except each of these is smoked, so it's gonna be better than Parmesan. Like smoked Parmesan. And this one, I only ate half of it and forgot about it, so um, the front facing half is gonna be rindy. And I'm gonna need to cut it off, so. Gonna be a smaller section that I'll be able to eat out of that. I think I'm gonna eat that tonight with my eggs. All right, so I got my kefir in the front. I'll put my kefir cream cheese right here after dinner. And then I got these cheeses ready to eat. Oops, I forgot to put these cheeses back. Put these in the back. This one right here, I guess. This is how I played Tetris, living in such a small little wagon. Got my little television stand here, phone stand, in my cooking area. Got my wood stove under here. But it's not cold today, so I'm not gonna fire that up. I'm just gonna fire up my alcohol stove. It's so convenient. This is the first time in my life I've ever had it a non-stick burner stove and it's just so convenient, it's ridiculous. Cheese slicer slash sc scraper. I love this tool for this. It's like a spatula slash cheese slicer. Thanks to a subscriber got it for me off my Amazon wish list. Thank you guys. That's cleaned well enough. Yeah, done. <clears throat> Keep for cream cheese. It's not thickened cream cheese yet. It's like a thick kefir. All right, thank you, God. <sighs> Eggs from my friend's chickens here cheese for my own sheep and kefir condiment all right subscriber was telling me about a vietnamese coffee and i couldn't find a recipe for it using espresso so two parts espresso to two parts milk one part sugar and one part egg yolk. Seems like it's uh, it's making the eggy flavor not so eggy to where it's, it might be enjoyable, let's see. Oh yeah, when it mixes in with the espresso, that's really interesting. I don't really care for the cream 
Um, maybe it's still a little too... I used a whole egg yolk. I'll try mixing it a little bit. Nah, I don't like it as much as without egg. The mouthfeel has more of like a, a negative film that it leaves on my mouth. Whereas the sheep milk leaves a film that's like a positive experience. This is a little too much. And it's not cutting the bitter. Somehow, well, I'm usually using more milk because I'm using milk in placement of the the egg yolk but it's definitely tasting bitter more bitter yep that was nice to try but i'm a fan of uh eggless lattes sorry thank you to my subscriber for suggesting though vietnamese latte all right we're at a stage that i'd like to explain where annie is calling out to her daughter and her daughter doesn't care and isn't coming running to feed She's uh, one month old. I'll check the date and put it up. So I am going to start m moving in to become her. Give her attention. <laughs> Good girl. See, she stepped forward. Um, she stepped forward like she does when um, just like one step to meet her her daughter. Her daughter um, going going under. Good girl. Yeah. So I'm gonna scratch. Scratch around there, around her belly. Thank you, mama. Thank you, mama. And this is my other milker right here. So she is coming over here because she's like, "Oh, you're you're my you're my baby. Give me attention." And yeah, so um, the mentality of. Annie here is going to start shifting now at this point it's going to start shifting and she's going to start um, more and more wanting to uh, let me milk her whereas before this they don't want anyone to milk them other than their their daughter so they will not want you to milk them unless you form that um, that like mother <coughs> mother child bond that it gets that gets your feedings or your milkings that gets your milkings to um, get her mind to drop the hor mommy hormones is what I call them. When mothers have uh, their their babies nurse off of them, they they get good feelings. They actually get euphoric. They can get euphoric. Yeah. So you want to give them lots of attention when they're in that mood for wanting that euphoric feeding time that comfort time you want to give them that comfort yay i'm your baby and yeah signal that now oh, our baby is coming well she was coming over see her baby is getting old enough to where she's getting starting to get more of a ratio of her calories from the uh, the grass than she is her mama's milk so um, she, she's starting to drop off and her mom, her mom, before her mom starts to, uh, starts to produce less milk in correspondence to that ratio growing, then, uh, then you want to move in and start milking. So I, I started milking, um, yesterday, uh, morning, I milked this morning and now tomorrow morning she will be complete she'll probably come to me to be milked tomorrow morning now the baby's feeding and mama is being a good mama yeah morning brother good to see you again How you been? pretty good got some good uh some good sheep milk now we got a lamb you got some right now yeah from you. I'll give it to I you. It. I appreciate you. Guys. Right, hey, bro, hey, I'll sister, it's good to see you. Later, you. Yeah, I love you. I hope you all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, man. I love you. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen you drop by and say hi either. How are you doing? Doing okay. It's yeah. good to see you. I saw you on my thing. <laughs> you had that whole thing on Snapchat. On what? Snapchat. You did that whole thing on you. What's that? A, a Snapchat I'm not familiar with yet. You were in one of these like stories right here. 
Oh, was it was it the, the business insider probably about insider you, business? It, it might have been. I think yeah. It was a business insider thing. I just, I just googled it. it was okay. Did you check out my YouTube channel? Um, thank you, Troy. Loving you. Yeah, yeah I, have a good day. I did when I first moved here because you had it on the side of uh, your cart, and I was like, this well, Specifically, uh, I made a review video of that guy's video. Watch my review video of it. Dude, he is he was so manipulative, and, and it, like, they added cussing bleeps to my to my clips to make it look like I was, like, more, it, that I was more... Yeah, and then did you see like the, like the one person that he put in there to talk about me at all was yeah, negative? I that wasn't by chance. That, guy. that yeah. guy's that guy's a dirtbag. Okay. He's a dirtbag. Okay, so you know what, what was his name again? His name's Charlie. Charlie Hall, right? Yes. He doesn't yeah. even know me, and yeah. I don't even know him. That's what I was like, he's like, he's so aggro. I'm like, what does that even mean? And he said, it, he said he's always throwing temper tantrums. What he told he told I've never the camera. Seen you do anything silly. Have you ever seen me? You've known me for 10 I, years. I see you walk around here with your shoes. At least 10 years, like 12 years? I have a quick question. I've never seen anything. The bartender, like, kind of kicked him out. Like, well, I, was, like, I, I had just met him. He was, like, sitting there next to me. I was having some beers, watching football. And apparently he, like, goes there and kind of takes off all the time. And people know that about him. Yeah. And he got kicked out. And then the girl, like, tried to kick me out. She's like, you're his friend. I'm like, dude, I don't know that guy. I just met him today when I sat down. But that let me know that, like, he has a reputation for being a bad oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that was weird because it was the only thing he had on there. was only interview is that you're a dick and you walk around like being a dick. What's really sketchy is that that, that journalist had... Um, he had interviewed uh, over a dozen people that I pointed out in the three days that he stayed with me. I gave him numbers to my landlord, my neighbors. He wanted f numbers from people that I knew uh, uh, 20 years ago. I gave him th at least three friends' numbers that I was still connected with from 20 years ago. And he called them and interviewed them over Zoom. And he didn't, use, he didn't use any, uh, any of those, uh, those uh, interviews that he did of positive uh, references for, for my, my personality. And instead, he put in one pseudo reference from a guy that doesn't know me that's obviously lying about my character because he says that I'm always throwing temper, temper tantrums. Free milk, if you want to try some. That, that's from this morning, so it doesn't have any developed flavors. It's like brand, brand new. Uh, and it takes like two days in the fridge for it to develop flavor. The way that a goat smells is the way that the, the, the milk tastes. Um, whereas like a cow, their milk doesn't taste like how they smell. And, yeah, and a sheep, yeah, it doesn't have a species flavor and neither does sheep milk. And uh, yeah, sheep, sheep milk is just like uh, cow milk, but uh, a little richer it's got a good and a little, a little sweeter. Oh, it's got a great taste, bro. Right. Just got done coming in town for the food bank. Got some conventional apples. Maybe they're organic. I figure they're conventional though. No, nope, they're conventional. And some oranges and some onions. Let's see what all we got. Onions, oatmeal, organic oats. Some peanut butter that doesn't have any of the hydrogenated or sugar or anything. Some weird rice, I guess, that is pre-cooked, pre-boiled so that it splits open. It's wild rice, I guess, and then they froze it. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know, it's weird. So, I got a bunch of rice, non-GMO rice. Dave's Killer Bread had a, some kind of a bar. I don't know they're making stuff like that. But almonds and raisins. I think that's it. Oh, and this charred pineapple relish with peppers. There's like no natural flavors in it, which is really rare nowadays for anything like this to not have natural flavors in it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I got some good stuff. Good stuff today. I got shared some good stuff. Shared some sheep milk with people. He's a good boy. Yes, yeah, silly sheep, get away from the street. Annie. 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 Good girl. Yeah.
Good girl, honey. Thank you for listening to me, mama. Good sheep. Good sheep. So you guys have known me for uh, how long? For a long time now. About almost six Ten years, years now. Yeah, yeah, but I just told you um, about how he interviewed this one guy that doesn't know me who said that I was that I was aggro and that I was always throwing temper tantrums. What do you think about that? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? Real. I've only no. met that guy it's once. No. Okay. I've only met, he, he works at the pizza he worked at the pizza place in Ashland like ten years ago or something like that. Uh, what was yeah. your interaction with him? <laughs> Nothing. I bought a pizza from him. <laughs> that was it. But he knows me from Facebook and he doesn't like my political stance. That's what it was all about. Ooh, he's got eggs and soap. Yeah. You have soap? The company is making it with my sheep's milk. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And and then they give me sheep they give me soap in exchange for more milk. Yeah, they're selling it at the um, at the co-op in Ashland. Can I see a piece of it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's up in the front basket. We need traveling networks of people that have wagons that are small enough to pull themselves because uh, animals uh, that pull are inherently dangerous in post-apocalyptic situations where bullets are flying. I, 